hello, hello, all of you beautiful faces. So this is my second video in a month because of what happened with my husband. And um, before we get into this bag, which, oh my gosh, there are bags that I thought I had canceled that obviously I didn't. It's so confusing because some of the names of these companies come in under different names like Allure is Condé Nast and I thought Condé Nast was Macy's and I thought I had already unsubscribed from all Allure so when I unsubscribed from Condé Nast it wasn't, it was an Allure that I had not unsubscribed from and oh my gosh so I just didn't even realize that I haven't called, canceled my Macy's box. Um, because of what's going on with us, you will not see um, a lot of unboxings here. At, you will see some, but not many. Um, and by the end of this month, every every box I have should be canceled because, and it depends. It that's a long story of stuff that we're dealing with. So I, I'm not going to go into it because it's really nobody's business. But um, before we get into this bag, I'm going to share with you one of my confessions. That was something that I prayed over my life for every day for four years. Every day. I mean every day. And there were times that I would do it a couple times a day because we were going through something really heavy. Or getting really attacked or persecuted or something. And so this is something that I am picking up and going to do again. Because we are, again are in like a very intense battle right now. Um, but this is my confession book. This is 14 pages front to back, front and back typed confessions of all biblical scriptures that I, I spoke over my life and prayed every day for four years when I first started serving the Lord or rededicating my life to the Lord. And, um, this one is called Changing Me. So I'm going to just read it to you how I present it. And look. I'm not, you guys, take the time to sit and get a pencil and paper and write it. Look, I know I have this stuff typed out, but, you know, I went and did all this work. And I'm going through something really tough right now. I do not have the time to stop and send this out to people, nor do I have the money to do it. So, um, please, do like you would do at church. Take a Bible, a pen, and a paper, and write it down. Because... If you can't make that sacrifice to the Lord, then there's already something wrong with your walk. Okay, you guys, please don't write me and ask me to send it to you. So this is called Changing Me. And it, it says, I ask you now, Father, in Jesus' name to help me with these things. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of, my, of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach your ways to sinners and they will return to you. That's Psalm 51, verses 10 and 12 through 13. Search me, Father, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. That's Psalm 139, 23 to 24. I pray that I'd be so filled with the Holy Spirit that everywhere I go it would create a revival of some kind. Lord, reveal to me everything in my life that is holding me back, anything that is keeping me from walking in love and finding true fulfillment in my life. Lord, I pray that I would do the will of God in all situations and that I ask you allow me to help someone else be healed. I ask that you guide me to people that I can bless and I thank you, for Father, for providing me seed to sow. I pray that my actions would consistently reflect your principles. That's Psalm 119.5. And that you would keep me from lying to myself Give me the privilege of knowing you intimately. Psalm 119, 29. Teach me, Father, to follow every one of your principles. Principles. Psalm 119, 33. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise, which is for those who honor you. There's a key right there. Reassure me of your promise, which is for those who honor you. It is not for those who go out and live in the flesh all day long and profess to be Christians. And then when something goes wrong, go, why me, Lord, why me? Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Why would a good God allow this to happen? Mm -mm. 
Reassure me of your promises, which are the, for those who honor you. Psalm 119, 37 and 38. I pray that I would live in such a way that no one would be hindered from finding the Lord by the way I act and that no one would find fault with my ministry. 2 Corinthians 6 and 3. Now, some people are going to come on here and go, oh, really, you confess that when you have this kind of an attitude and da, 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 da. Well, you go right ahead and judge because there is a difference between somebody who is in pain 24 hours a day and somebody who's having an attitude. And you should be sharp enough and have discernment enough to know the difference. I pray that I would be decent and true in everything that I do so that everyone can approve of my behavior. Romans 13, 13. I pray for humility and patience and the ability to be gentle to others, and the ability to make allowances for each other's faults because of my love. Ephesians 4, 2. Now, it goes on, I will finish it in the next video, but it goes on for another entire page uh, and a half. All about scriptures that deal with my heart, my heart. And if we are always going to the word about somebody else's heart or going to another Christian about their heart and never dealing with our own, then we are hypocrites. And note, I said we, I did not say you. All of us have done that at one point or another. And if you do not believe that, then you are already deceived because we it we live in a world that is filled with it and the minute we fall into it we should repent ask the lord to forgive me ask him to cleanse our hearts renew his steadfast spirit within us and to help us to do better in the next time but with that said here is the macy's bag um i'm i love the macy's bag and um i'm going to miss it because I, I love shop. I shop at Macy's all the time. But honestly, I have enough samples to win um, when I cancel them that uh, it's not going to be really a big loss for me for a while because I literally buy Ipsy Overstock and I have so much of the stuff that um, I literally, I wouldn't even be able to use all my makeup in three years. I wouldn't. And I'm very blessed that way. And I'm blessed that way because I'm a giver and I, I live a life of giving. I don't visit it. I don't manipulate people to get things. I live a life. And I, I the first thing, one of the first things I did to them, said to the Lord when I rededicated my life to him is that I would never let anything I have own me. Because when a possession owns you, then your heart is already in the wrong place. Then you have a God. You have made it an idol in your life. And so I have determined that no matter what the value, I wouldn't care if it was my car or a house or uh, anything. And God knows that I would give it if he asked me to. If he asked me to, not if the person came to me and asked me to. There's a big difference too. But um, it's, I, I, it is going to be very hard to give up these boxes for the reason that I'm in bed most days. And when they come, whether or not you guys believe it or no, even if I'm honest about what I think about the box, getting something in the mail throughout this when I am bedridden five days a week, it, it is such a lift in, in, unless you know what dealing with depression or lupus or fibromyalgia or you're bedridden and you're in pain all the time, it, you you won't know what it's like until you go through it because I didn't. And I, I had never dealt with depression before or other things. And, and I always used to be one of the ones who judged people and thought, oh, they, they live in a pity party and that's why they're that way. And I, I'll be the first to admit it. And I honestly hate that about myself. But I don't do that anymore. And now I know because I've dealt with it myself. 
and I am not a person who has a pity party. I am like the furthest thing from it, and you could ask anybody in this household. I do not sit around this house and whine. I have days where I cry because I'm hurting, but I have joy in the midst of a really crappy circumstance, and I still love the Lord, and that says everything. But they, they have this little bag. It's not really like my favorite Macy's bag. They usually have bags that like blow Ipsy bags out of water. And Ipsy, unfortunately, this month for August resorted back to one of their old bags, which is kind of a bummer. But they always come so beautifully wrapped, which an Ipsy bag never does. And for that, I love Macy's. And I, oh my gosh! <gasps> Savannah is going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. I so wanted to buy this. <gasps> oh, Lord. you See, this is exactly why I did not get this canceled. Because I have wanted this tiny little cherry lip balm for the longest time. I think it is the most adorable packaging Oh my gosh. And this is full size, you guys. It is. Oh gosh, it's so stinking adorable. I want them to do it in like every fruit. And I am going to get like every single one of them just because I am a sucker for good packaging. And I am honestly thinking about redoing this room if we move, which we may have to do soon. Um, when I redo my beauty room, I'm going to do it completely differently and make it really fun, bright colors and display my makeup instead of displaying other things. And, oh my gosh, love, thank you, Macy's. I'm not kidding. I, I could be done with the bag and I'd like this, 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 I'm so happy just to get this. I'm not kidding. Like, ah! and hello, get it out of the park. Oh my gosh, this is exactly why I did not miss this because this is my daughter's favorite spray. And I mean, I would absolutely, I may, I'm not my arm wrestler, but no, I'll probably just give it up because I have my full size one she made me and I love it. And it works on my skin amazingly and it's all natural. So this is going to my daughter and I'm this is seven bucks right here, you guys. Seven bucks for this bottle. So amazing. Amazing. We got a little tart lippy, which I think I probably have. Um, is this rose? I, I would imagine that I probably have about five of these in this exact color, but I do not hate it because I love tart products and um I just won't ever get mad at a tart product. Urban Decay, full size, baby. This is not a thin little deluxe sample. This is a full size glide on eye pencil. And oh my goodness, that color is electric. Now, I am not going to swatch it because that is absolutely not a me color. This is a color that needs to go on blue eyes. I don't know, maybe I would use it in my waterline because it's a gel just to pop my green eyes. Um, I'm going to think about it, but wow, full size Urban Decay pencil, Macy's, you just never cease to amaze me with how amazing your boxes are, and I truly, truly am so thankful for them. This is the one thing I don't like to get in these, I'm going to tell you, because I can go to the store and get these for free. I mean, these can be like an afterthought, which maybe that's what this is because there are other items in here. So maybe this is just the bonus item. And for that, I dig it. But I wouldn't want this to be like my fifth item. But um, this is ju Juicy Couture. Wee, 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 baby, wee. And then these are the SK, oh, it's an SK2 facial treatment mask. There's an actual mask in here and it's folded. I can feel it. So I am very excited to try this because I actually love the SK2 products. And this bag is $14.99 a month and I got $5 back, which I will use at Macy's because I actually have to take something back to Macy's today. And um, 
when I do that, I'm going to use it on exchanging it for a different items. So I am pretty excited that that came today because to me, there's just no mistakes with the Lord. I mean, he just works it out. But I love this box. I am going to truly miss it because of the fact that it is one of my favorite subscriptions. But, um, you know, God could do a miracle by the end of this month. And if he does, this subscription ain't going anywhere, baby. But I've already canceled the Fabs at Fun, Allures, um, my Test Tube Beauty, and oh my gosh, on and on. So, bummer. But it'll be okay because God is my supply. So I love you guys. I pray that God keeps you safe in this crazy world we live in. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.